So finally, I'm getting back to my roots. You're like, oh, cool, boring flashlight reviews? No, cheap knives, bro. Okay, maybe those aren't my roots, but I needed a through line. So today's review is for the Enlin EL10. Now, I own one other Enlin knife that I don't hate, but I don't like either, which is probably how some people feel who have accidentally watched my videos. The knife is the Enlin EL01, the one that I'm not really cool on, a well-built knife which came pretty dull and I didn't like the flipping action. Sorry, the F in action. I think I'll finish that review at some point in the future. I don't know, probably, but what about the Enlin EL10? Like the EL01, this is a large folder that ain't exactly light, but it's well built. Cue the dimension segment, or I talk and some numbers come on screen and you remark that you'd really wish they'd make them a little bit lighter. Or maybe you like them bigger and heftier, and there's nothing wrong with that. The blade is a drop point flat ground blade that's in the size range of a blade I use for everyday carry. It's made from the staple 8CR13 MOV steel that a lot of these knives use, so the blade will need to be sharpened a little bit more than that expensive Spyderco I can't afford. The blade has some small lettering denoting the model number and blade seal, which I only bring up because of this San Renmu I bought recently that has like a whole limerick written on it. No joke, it's, it's, it's a limerick. There once was a man from Nantucket Inside you'll find a partially milled, but mostly not milled, stainless steel liner that provides a knife with its locking mechanism. Or a liner lock for people who like hearing me add another sentence to this review. It clicks solidly into place with no rock or no play in the blade. The exterior has layered G10 scales that sort of look like Micarta, but are not Micarta. At least I don't think they are. Enlin's website calls them Micarta, Gearbest calls them G10. So who do I believe, huh? When the handle gets wet, it doesn't absorb water like my Schrade Micarta handle does, so that's kind of how I know, and plus the back of it has little dots like it looks like G10, and it feels like G10, kind of. So if you look at the side of it, it looks like the layers are stacked, and a knife artist known as a CNC machine etched the side and gives the handle a zebra-like look. So finally I have a knife that matches a pair of fancy shorts I have. So now I can move into the next phase of my channel, which is coordinating your clothing with your EDC. And you're like, oh, finally, the last straw, unsubscribe. The layer G10 gives an interesting texture without adding a bunch of jimping, which is cool. In fact, the only jimping on the knife is mostly recessed on the spine above the lock. The clip placement is fixed in a tip-down configuration and blade forward if it's in your right pocket. Sorry. The handle is a good size, which is not a nice way of saying it's small. My hand fits it well without finger crowding, which helps during corrugated combat. Plus you got that hole on the back so you can wear it as your necklace. Deployment is Colt 45 smooth. You need to hit the thumb stub with a bit of force or give it a little bit of wrist action. But once you get it down, it works every time. Since I've recently moved, I now have a lot of knife food laying around, so let's give it a go. Okay. In all fairness though, I did hit this with my sharp maker a bit before I murdered the box. I was able to shave some paper, but I needed it a bit sharper so I could accidentally cut myself while I'm cutting the cardboard. Let's offer some final thoughts. This is a good blade. Expect a Gonzo or San Renmu quality out of it, like a hefty overbuilt knife, but a really good price. It has a nice handle, fairly good deployment, a nice flat ground blade, and overall pretty good fit and finish in construction. If you like this review, subscribe to my channel. I've got five or six other budget blade reviews coming, so stay tuned. I also should have a new Benchmade and a new CRKT blade review in the near future, but I can't promise that until it's in my hands. Also, like my video and leave me a comment. This blade was provided by Gearbest. Thanks for watching.